Hello and uh, welcome to a new Let's Play video. I've been requested to do, by a lot of people, another uh, Let's Play of Hearts of Iron 3. And I have decided to indulge that request by playing as Italy. And uh, as you can see from the date of the save game about to load, it is the 7th of January 1936, so a week has passed from the actual start of the game already. I used that week to do a little bit of a basic setup, so I have basic troops, I've renamed most all of my divisions, all of my corps, all of my armies, all of my stuff, so I can pretty much control them more easily and set up some politics. I'm gonna run, walk you through them real quick. Also, as a warning, I'm not gonna be using the original musics of this game because to be honest, after playing this game for about 20 hours, you start to get pretty bored of those music little by little, so I'm going to use a sort of an internet radio, a Urja it's called, I think, I don't know how to pronounce that, but uh, it's gonna play a lot of random game music from a lot of random games, so some of it might, like this piece of music that I chose to be the first one, I think it's from some Medal of Honor game, it works pretty well, but others might not work so well, but Keep an open mind. It won't kill you. Let's get to it. Loading, loading, loading. Ah, here we are. So, yeah, we are playing as Italy. And, uh, I don't know jack shit about Italy during World War II, so this is pretty new territory for me. I played uh, one game which I played up to 1939, I think, as Italy, to get a bit of a feel for it and to figure out how it works, basically. So, yeah. Italy. What do we have? Oh yeah, I was still in the process of uniting my naval forces to a bit more understandable formation. What I have here is the Central Command, or High Command, stationed in Rome. And, um, as you can see, I have two High Command units. One is the Mainland High Command, which then controls most of my fleets and uh, air units directly. I will later on be distributing these to other units as required. Yep, we're going to be uniting some submarines over there into a submerged unit. And then there are three... It has its own high command security consisting of two infantry regiments. D, D, okay, there comes the uncool music, but like I said, bear with it. I tested, you should be able to hear me nicely. If not, I'll be testing this recording every now and then to fix voice problems. Uh, three armies, or, H, or fronts, as I have divided them. We have the southern, which is basically homeland defense southern portions of the country. It consists of two armies divided into five corps and seven divisions. It's a pretty small unit, but it's basically just there to keep the peace. Uh, then we have the Eastern Front HQ, which consists of three armies, four corps, and ten divisions, and is divided here. Uh, basically, it's there to well, Austria isn't much of a threat, and Yugoslavia is a bit of a pushover, but... Well, if push comes to shove, I might I might take the time to try and invade Yugoslavia at some point. That'd be a cool expansion. And then there is, of course, the Western Front, which consists of the Western units, mostly put there to fight against France, if need be. Two armies, five corps, eleven divisions. Plenty of mountaineers and stuff like that. I haven't changed much. Of, I'm sorry. I haven't changed much of the original formations the nation's army starts in. Basically, I've uh, jostled the air forces a little bit around, and that's about it. Uh, then we move to from the mainland command or high command to Africa high command, and this is a bit more messy. Uh, basically, what we have here is a large portion of Northern Africa. Well, I call that large. It's larger than Italy, for Christ's sakes. Now, let's keep in mind, this is the first time I'm truly trying to play as a country that's bigger than Finland. So, yeah, we have that. 
basically it's just a very small portion of units are stationed here, along with some small air units. And there's UK lands in there. And then we have Ethiopia. And I realized Italy starts at war with Ethiopia. And I'm not sure how big of a threat Ethiopia is, so hell, I'm going to try. I have I don't know what how the war went in real life. I think Italy beat them, so I'm going to try to do the same and take Ethiopia. Can't be too hard. The terrain is shit. There's just mountains and desert and shit, but we'll live with it. And of course we have some land here in Eastern Africa. Mostly militia forces, but um, we'll deal with it. Some basic infantry and militia forces. Nothing too epic. And yeah, because a lot of people requested it, a few actually contacted me directly through either email or uh, YouTube messages that I need to do a let's play where I don't cut the action out, where I show everything as it happens, so... I don't understand why you people might want to watch me play this in real time, because seriously, it takes ages. But <laughs> if you want it, so be it. Uh, Production-wise, diplomacy-wise, diplomacy nothing special is going on. I've uh, automated trade, as always. Production-wise, I'm providing, producing some escorts, some infantry, artillery divisions, and then there were some fleet units being created as I started the game. And this war is so early on. Shit, let's do it. this. We have plenty, plenty of consumer goods and not much need for them. People are pretty happy with little goods. actually start producing something new. I'll do some infantry units, which I'll distribute among the pre-existing units. I don't know why, but uh, Italy has most of its uh, mainland divisions starting out with a very low force. I mean, there's two regiments per division. I usually keep three or four, as four is the maximum, so I be attaching these extra brigades brigades to uh, reinforce those units. And uh, that's pretty much it. Is there something else? Technology, central planning, some infantry weapon upgrades, light artillery upgrades, airplane upgrades, and having learned from my previous mistakes, I'm going to be upgrading also coal processing and rare materials refining at some point. I'm aiming for, in the long run, a medium tank combined with good quality infantry, specialized infantry, and a fairly good air force. I'm also going to be putting out quite a bit of uh, navy. I'm not, I've, I've never had much of a chance to play around with the navy, but I'll try. Politics, there wasn't much to touch. Totalitarian system, service by requirement, total economic mobilization, all kinds of shit. Uh, no idea. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused. And, um, I'm keeping tabs on France, Germany, UK, and Yugoslavia. In Yugoslavia, I'm going to be increasing their threat. I'm going to be lowering my neutrality. England, I'm going to be doing counter espionage. For Germany, I'm going to be supporting their. No, 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 no. I can't support their ruling party. Oh, well, I'll do nothing to them for now. In France, I'm going to be disrupting their national unity, because I'm an asshole. And for Ethiopia, I'm disrupting production. That is okay. Ethiopia is attacking us. Good riddance. Good luck for you. Also, I'm gonna have to apologize already. I'm having a s slight cold. So, this is causing me to sound a bit like 
shit. I'm sorry for that. Okay, so this is going to be my first invasion. The first Africa Corps, in all its might, is now entering the area of Mechev in an attempt to start off the attack against uh, Ethiopia. Um, I'm doing pretty shittily when it comes to uh, resource production. I have no idea how to upgrade that except by lifting up the technology levels for those. Something wants to talk to me. Austria offers military access. I will be gladly taking their military access. I don't think there's a problem with Austria. Oh, well, actually. They can't ally with me. Right, I have these two islands here too. Rhodos. Let's go on vacation. It takes ages for units to move uh, anywhere in Africa. There's no road networks, there's slow infrastructure. Uh, it's desert, it's mountains, it's shit, it's that. Muddy ground, yeah, hooray. Exactly what we wanted and what we needed. Hold on. Let's see the infrastructure a little bit there. Good enough. So one some counterattack attempt over here. Good luck with that, people. We've got mountain units moving into our area. First African militia corps is trying to reorganize for another attack so they can support the first Africa Corps in their push south towards Addis Abeba where they will do their best to kick the Ethiopians out for some reason moving the map with the keyboard was really jerky so I'm using the mouse 
I know, it looks annoying, but I can't help it. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is the kind of moment that I feel that I don't really understand why so many people asked me to do a real-time Let's Play of this game, because seriously, this is so uneventful. There's absolutely nothing going on most of the time, and all I'm really doing is jumping around watching as my units do stuff. Maybe. Sometimes. Eventually. Everything's so slow and uneventful. I don't really think this is such a good game to watch happening, <laughs> but uh, hey, I'm, I'm doing it you as you requested. Yugoslavia offers military access. I will decline. They'll be giving me that offer a lot of times, but uh, I'm declining for now because I'm thinking it possibility possible that I will attack them at some time. We have won another battle and are pushing southward. We're pretty much pretty overkill when compared to Ethiopia. I don't really understand why they're even fighting anymore. But oh well. Let them try. We shall crush them like the bugs they are. Also, I don't do a bit. I don't do a very good Italian accent, so do not expect me to do that. A bibidi boopa, ba ba bibidi boopa. I watch Family Guy. Not much I know about Italian accent. Oops. <laughs> I was a bit of a too quick quickly it made in tech. My units weren't really prepared for that. Oh well. And to ensure that we make as much overkill as possible. What there's two Africa core here. We're under attack. Goodness. So the Second Africa Corps also now marches, marches southbound, and I'm wasting IC on upgrades. Fuck upgrades. We do resource supply production now. I don't want to try attacking across the river, so I'm going to be attacking this way. Well, that's not a good sign. Why are we doing so poorly? Explain to me. Pick up the pace, people. Well, the defenders are dug in. I will break their souls. Spirits in no time at all. The Spanish Civil War has happened, and we have a national decision to make. This is another thing I don't really understand. I can do a national decision, I can inter do an intervention. Um. I can do an intervention, but I'm not really understanding what that means. What can I do? I'll intervene. So I guess I can send troops there now. Is that what it means? I'll send submarines. To here. They can't do shit. Logo convoy rating. <laughs> Maybe it'll kill something. You guys are gonna take back that bit of land. Let's 
straight for Addis Ababa. This is a ballsy move, as we call them. A ballsy move. We're getting a good grip here on south. At this time of the game, nothing really happens in the mainland area. So there's not much to do. But watch Ethiopia get crushed under my military power. That sounded more Russian. I'll blame it on the cold. <clears throat> um, hum, 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 hum. Halfway through February. Weird programs going on on TV. Weird. Some murder, murder stuffs are happening on TV. Am I wasting IC again? Upgrades. It is understandable. The need for upgrades is getting lower as we speak. Lower my uh, requirement on officers a little bit. What? Prohibit the establishment of new parties. There's been an ongoing discussion in our government for some time now in regards to whether new organizations such as trade unions and political parties should be allowed to form or not. Several of our ministers are of the opinion that it poses too much of a threat to our current government and it would be better to instead impose certain restrictions and increase control. basically got the enemy on the run pretty well. Uh, shut up, Yugoslavia. I don't care about you. I got bigger fish to fry for now. main reason I'm interested in Yugoslavia in the first place is the fact that they have uh, some rare materials here that I would like. So it is perfectly possible that I will at some point be interested in taking those from them. I would find that quite pleasant. So we now have... what? Four divisions and an HQ unit standing outside the enemy capital. And they're, they're running. <laughs> they're running from us. The weaklings! They will be crashed! First, I'm gonna be trying to secure the surrounding areas so I don't get surrounded if I go in there. So let's give that a little bit of time. I wanna move the uh, first militia corps to this area of Karakore here so they can assist in the attack if necessary. I also would like well, basically have these units momentarily in position. I'm also going to be moving these militia units here to attack here. Basically just divide and conquer tactics. Take one enemy unit that's Stationary, attack it, crush it, and before the enemy can regroup, attack another one. Oh dear, they're fighting back, are they? The 
the 2nd African Corps can take care of these units. Pretty close to being ready to attack. Actually, we're attacking their high command. Which, was, for some reason, the Addis Abeba HQ was out of town. And is now going to get crushed. High commands morale a bit. That should do us good. They'll be a little less organized and a little less capable of fighting back. We can also take this battle pretty easily. Twenty-four hours and we begin the attack on Addis Ababa. March 1936. I expect the battle to take maybe a few days maximum, three days maximum, I think. And from there, we'll have an easy going. Well, 16th of March will be the day of the attack. Attacking at the dawn. At dawn. Shut up, Yugoslavia. Nobody cares about you. You're like Poland to me. Yeah, they're putting a pretty good resistance in Addis Ababa, but uh, it's not going to do them much good. I got a bit too many people here. I get sacked with penalties, but oh well. Also taking the tanks. See, we're doing pretty daring attacks right now. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm so sorry for that. Uh, oh god. I need more hot tea. Shut up, Yugoslavia. Nobody cares about you. It's 
live here, we have won the battle for Addis Ababa. And my woman is making me tea. Heart. I don't usually record when people are around. I don't really care right now. This isn't going to be that, that eventful. Oh no, we've lost land, basically. Ethiopia has surrendered. <laughs> we shall create a puppet or annex them. Puppet, annex, puppet, annex. I'll create a puppet. That's gonna be good enough for me. We don't have a first submerge, is that it? No, we do, but it's the wrong place. Never mind. Okay, we can move forces out of this area then. I'm going to be moving most of my troops where there's fairly good infrastructure so they can stay in good supply. I'm also going to be moving some of them off of here. Um, now comes the tricky decision. My country is mobilized in peacetime. It is costly, but then again, I'm making enough money that I don't see a reason to demobilize. And to be honest, when I played as Finland, I never saw Italy demobilized. They were always mobilized. They we're always ready for everything. And I think I'm going to be doing the same. Don't matter. Don't matter. I'm sure. Make me tea. Sure. Just make me tea. Women. Pussies. Yeah, let's 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 ignore that bit. You never heard that. I'll cut that out. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Okay. We're gonna have to do some minor changes to get this country back in track. There, that shall do for now. making enough supplies, I'm not making enough upgrades, I'm not making enough reinforcements. Actually, I am. Woo! I'm not making enough production, and consumer goods are at an all-time low. People are not happy. Gotta do something with that. We'll do that for a moment to get this end down. To get the people of Italy happy, and to get the ball rolling, so to speak. Get out of there. <laughs> I'm not supposed to stay there. 
You guys aren't supposed to stay there. Get out of there. Move. Damn it. Camera controls are way too jerky for me. You guys can go back to the port. You haven't done anything useful. Africa fleet, and that here is the second Africa fleet. How's Finland doing? Oh, they don't want to lie with us. Yeah, I can I can completely see why you people wanted to watch this. T Thanks. I hope you people are happy now. You can watch me play Hearts of Iron 3 in real time. This is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like again. They moved their capital for some reason to Jima. I wonder why. Can I relocate my capital somehow? Why would you do that? That's odd. That should keep me afloat for a while.
<coughs> Who's like these? Portugal. Portugal. Kingdom. UK. Ah! Technology advances. I love technology advances. Holy shit! Even more! I don't think I'll be upgrading... Actually, I am. I am what I am. I'll do one round of light tank upgrades and then I can get to medium tanks. Later on. Shit, I just realized that I haven't got the uh, basic setup numbers for units. So I don't know. I don't remember how many I have of each unit type. I seriously don't want to be counting them. Shit. Hold on, I think I have a way of finding out. So I think that was the 21st Infantry. I'll have to write this shit down, otherwise I'll be really confused in a while. This is going to take a while. Um. Ah, oh, shit. This is a mess. And I have units here that have never been named. Oh shit. Oh shit, shit, shit. Uh God damn it. I I need to pause the recording for a bit. Because I have no idea how my troops are organized right now. Right now I realize I've made a mistake. So I'm gonna pause this video for a while. And uh Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll be back in just a while. Bye-bye. <sighs> there. I have reorganized my military, and I have recounted my troops so that my calculations that I make on paper now hold water. My mainland unit consists of 22 infantry divisions, 4 mountaineer divisions, and 3 cavalry divisions. My Africa units consist of 7 infantry divisions and 10 militia divisions, assisted by 1 mountaineer division. Let's play. 
Uh, that was a mess. <laughs> I, I'd miscounted some troops, thus, and there were a few names missing in between, so my count was off. I hate it when numbers are off, so I had to fix it. Is this music from Tropico? Yeah, it is. From Tropico. Right, what was I up to? I wasn't up to much, actually. No, I was just putting the new troops together. That's that. Yeah, July is on the way. Actually, proceeding at speed. Over half of the first year is gone. My bad. Yeah, yeah, radar is three years ahead of its time. So what? We'll still do it. It'll give our folk an edge. being run full speed and nothing's still happening. <laughs> How is the war to the west going? It would seem the nationalists are doing pretty well.
We'll do some pilot training. Ensure that our air force remains top notch. October has gone, November has gone, come and... Illegal printing! This is unacceptable. Well, that was an uneventful six months right there. December's almost out, and it's time to do a bit of a recap in a moment. No units. Infantry Brigade shall be go shall go to reinforce 1st Infantry. Start from the top. Hold for there. Launch 
there. Let's... Those are some messy notches. Right. I don't think much more is going to happen by end of year. And I was right. That, ladies and gentlemen, was 1936. It is now 1st of January 1937, and it's time to do a little recap of what just happened this year. Uh, absolutely nothing happened on mainland. There were a couple of special events that didn't do much. Nationalist, Nationalist Spain has pretty much kicked Republican Spain's ass, and that fight will be over soon. And we created a puppet out of Ethiopia. And that's about it. That, that's about all that happened. I hope you enjoyed watching this. A lot of people requested this, so I expect you have you to have enjoyed this. If you didn't enjoy this, then god damn you, why did you ask me to do it? Explain yourselves. And uh, regarding the music that I play in the background, do let me know in the comments if it sucks or if it's okay for you. I'd prefer to keep it on, but if it troubles people that I have it on, I'll take it out in the future and use the game's original musics. Let me know. Comment. Subscribe. Do whatever you want to do. Adios.